John William King. The brutal and racially motivated murder of 49-year-old James Byrd Jr. on June 7, 1998, was a crime that shocked the nation. Byrd was snatched as he walked along the road in Jasper, Texas. He was beaten, urinated on, and dragged about two miles behind a pickup by log chains attached to his ankles. During the ordeal, he was decapitated when his body hit a culvert. The perpetrators of the crime were 31-year-old Lawrence Russell Brewer, 24-year-old Sean Allen Berry, and John William King, also 24. The three dumped their victim's body at an African-American cemetery and then went to eat barbecue. Among other evidence, investigators found Brewer's DNA on a cigarette and beer bottle at the crime scene and Burr's blood on their shoes. The brutality of the crime led to new state and federal hate crime laws. Sean Allen Berry was sentenced to life in prison and will be eligible for parole in 2038. John William King received his death sentence on February 25, 1999. On September 1999, Lawrence Russell Brewer was also sentenced to death. After 12 years on death row, he was executed by lethal injection. King had previously been involved in a white supremacist prison gang, and he was covered in racist tattoos, including Ku Klux Klan symbols, a swastika, and a visual depiction of a lynching. He always denied participating in the murder of James Byrd. John William King spent 20 years on death row and was injected with a lethal dose of pentobarbital at 6.56 p.m. on April 24, 2019 in Huntsville. When the warden asked him if he had any final statement, he just replied, no. At 44, King became the third inmate executed in the state of Texas this year, and the fourth nationally. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to be notified of new uploads. See you next video.